I'm glad you're with me one more time. I uh, want to answer some comments. You know, I uh, continuously have people throughout my whole time that I've known a Filipina, which was started in 1997. I've continuously had kind of the same questions. You know, people are saying, how do I know? What, you know, what is going on in the Philippines, basically? Is my girlfriend telling me the truth? <clears throat> how do I know she doesn't have a boyfriend or a husband or something? You know, her fiance, um, how do I know that she really loves me? How much does it cost to go to the Philippines? How much does it cost to, to um, bring that Filipina back? All these things, the, the kind of the general, that's the general um, questions. I mean, it just continues. So there's no easy way to answer that really fast. Um, how do you know if she really loves you? My perspective in that is, that she will not allow her family and not help her family to take advantage of you financially. And my perspective is she'll care about you and your life and your feelings and what's going on with you. You know, um, commonly I've talked to men that said, hey, you know, I man, I just can't afford to send my girlfriend, you know, that $400 this month. And I'm like, wow. That, that's four hundred dollars is a good, a large payment for doing absolutely nothing. You know, in my book, anyways. Um, you know, and I told her that I can't send her only, but only two hundred. They would say, and she's okay with that, but she wants me to give her the extra next month. You know, or something like that. So I find that. Um, you know what did what what did that Filipina do to survive? You know she's maybe she's living with her parents, maybe she's got children or she doesn't, maybe she's young or you know not. But what how did she survive before she met you? That's my number one question. And number two, um, why are we obligated the moment we start getting a crush on a female and want to go to a country? And maybe hang out with her, check her out, you know. Why is everybody on Facebook, you know, or the dating club or whatever it is, obligated to immediately start sending money to that Filipina? And her family, you know, we know that her family pulls the strings, you know, she's like a puppet. Her family says, hey, you know, get this, get that, we need this, we need that. That's what I've encountered. I, I Whether I'm in the country or not, you know, I I just left there not too long ago, in uh, the end of 2023, and uh, I'm still uploading some videos, by the way. But uh, and they're good videos of my visit there. But I um, had Filipinas talking to me there, and they would go up at the hotel, and I was in a kind of a little resort, class one hotel type place with a swimming pool and everything. Had a wall around it, security and et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Free breakfast, Wi-Fi, hot water, you know, maid service. But they would go to their room, and these were Filipinas that had some money, you know. Their family had some money. They would go to their room, and they would come back to, to talk to me. There's a table area out there, you know, different places to sit around the pool. Their family would give them ideas to speak to me, to talk to to me um, about issues, and it was an always it was never for friendly meeting or you know it was always an interview really. Um, where are you from? What's your job? Why are you here? How long are you going to be here? How much money do you make? And see, that's the key. How long are you going to be here? You know, many times, if I make you my boyfriend, how long do I have to deal with you? The Filipina is asking, you know, 
Uh, how long do I have to tolerate you? And, and what are you willing to give to the family? So my, my answers to all these questions is primarily the circumstances change, whether it's, you know, in the Philippines or on Facebook or online. Yes, the circumstances change, but primarily, um, it's the same thing. It, it, it's just pre presented to us in a different format. Um, you know, their, their family is always involved, you know, many times these, Phil these are Filipinos that are, you know, 25 to 35 years old, even they would go to the room and tell their mother, they're talking to some or whatever It's usually their mother. They're talking to some foreigner. Their family would want to come out and meet me. Why? You know, I, I'm just sitting there drinking coffee by the pool, you know? Um, and I love that. I love sitting there alone playing on the internet, you know, looking at YouTube videos out in the beautiful, hot, warm sun, you know, um, by the pool. I love that. Whether anybody was out there or not, didn't matter to me. So I love, love, love the weather. You know, it's snowing, you know, I'm in Ohio. It's snowing right now. Been snowing. It's, we got snow on the ground anyways. Um, so why does their family need to come? And immediately get involved. I tell you why. So I'm going to try to answer all the questions that I brought up, that I mentioned, that people ask. The family wants to know if they can benefit from promoting a relationship with their daughter, with the guy that she's talking to, which at the time was me. You know, I am notorious for saying, "Hey, look, I was married to a Filipina for 18 years." She met other Filipinas. She became money grubbing and uh, I couldn't trust her. I'm not going to do that again. And I'm not going to be raked through the coals by a family making payments and sending everybody to college and taking care. And you don't know if they're going to college. They might just go next door during the day. You don't even know if you don't know if they have a boyfriend. You don't know if they're, you know, so all of these girls, all these females are all single. Every one of them. If they don't have any children, they'll tell you they are a virgin. There's only one way to find out. You know, you have to have a relationship or something. I don't want to get too um, into that, but what is the truth? You know, the truth is they want money from you. The truth is the family's getting involved. That's right in front of my face, right with me looking and, 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 and sitting there. It's right in front of my face, you know. People on YouTube seem to say, oh, they're so friendly. The family come out and everybody loved me and everybody talked to me. That's crap. <laughs> they're interviewing you. They're trying to, is this guy someone that we can make a living from or profit from? You know, how long is he going to stay here? Oh, well, he lives here permanently. Oh, well, we got to deal with him constantly. So many of these YouTubers, if you listen to them, you know, they met, up teen amount of females and they found one that want to stay with them and love them. And that's the family accepting that. Um, you know, they all give 150, 200 bucks a month and more. And, uh, they give them special circumstances when babies are born and et cetera, et cetera. When people are sick and, you know, I don't, I mean, it's mind boggling, but the, if you and I gave to an American family, that's maybe on welfare, it's got, there's some really, uh, p uh, poverty or, uh, people in poverty in America. Okay. And people think everybody's rich because maybe the person has a washing machine or something. If you can pick up a washing machine for 35 bucks that, and put a belt on it or something, or, you know, whatever, put a plug on it or something. I don't know. Heat and coil in a dryer, you know? So it doesn't mean we're rich, but you know, they, that's how other countries think. So other countries think that we're all wealthy, but you know, there's people that's in poverty in America in, in the first world countries. If we gave four or 500 bucks to that family, you think they're not going to promote a relationship with their daughter with you? Of course they are. You know, mama getting a hundred bucks, 150 bucks a week or whatever it is, 125 a week. And of course they will, but it's unheard of. It's not accepted. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Just like an older guy, 
dating a younger woman in the United States. It's always, well, she's got to be a gold digger. You know, I dated a younger lady in the United States. She was 20 years younger than me, and she wouldn't let me pay for anything. She had her own house. She was a paralegal. She wouldn't let me pay for anything. She she bought me pizza. She, uh, I'd stop. If she was with me. I'd stop to get gas, and she'd go in. I'm going to go get a soda. You want one? I'm like, okay, you know. She, and I would uh, put in maybe 20 bucks worth of gas, and she'd come out and go, I paid for it. It's paid for. So it's not always a gold digging situation, but that's how they look at it, you know. Um, you know, they say, oh, he's a sugar daddy. You know, in America, you're doomed. I mean, the, the criticism is terrible. But uh, in the Philippines, they're like, oh, she got her one, you know. She got her an Americano, you know, American and a cano, and he is, uh, you know, he's going to support the family. And, and the Filipino guys are laughing at you, you know, because they don't have to. They may, they maybe they already dated that girl, been with her or something, you know, especially around in the area where she was raised and her batch mates running in and out of the house. I mean, maybe some of them know her really well. So the point is, is, is the love real? <sighs> Where does the love go first? The love goes to what country are you from? What income do you have? Why are you here? How long are you going to stay? Are you, or if you're on Facebook, are you coming? And if so, how long are you going to stay? You know, the family wants to know what's in it for them. Is that love? It's not love. It's love of having you in the family, me in the family, what they can get. But do they love you? Of course they love you. It's a certain type of love. It's not really life and death um Till you know, uh, till us part, uh, do you know, love until death do we part. Um, it's you know, it's love for what they can get, love. Um, and they love that. And do the is she are you the only one? Is she talking to other men? Of course, even if it's in the country, she's talking to other men. You know, Filipinas, I can go sit somewhere and Filipinas will approach me. I, I'm not attractive, I'm an older guy, you know. I'm out of shape, you know, they will approach me, young Filipinas, their mothers will approach me, it doesn't matter, you know, you say, and when I started this channel telling about um, guys my age get a 19 year old girl or whatever, everybody said I was a pervert, that wasn't the point, the point was they throw themselves at us, you know, I said throw, you know, watch. Boom, here I come. They come running, you know. Um, they want to know. And they're nothing else, their mother will give them an elbow. Hey, go talk to that guy, you know. The mother come over. I got a beautiful daughter. You got a girlfriend? Are you interested? And, you know, they're all single. How, how's that possible that they're they're all single? Maybe she got three kids. But how is it possible they're always single? You know, that's... I've had very few Filipinas ever, out of hundreds that I've talked to, ever tell me that they weren't single. And I've had a lot of married Filipinas that were with their husband. It's like, well, can't we be friends? Can I text you sometimes? Give me your number. I'll call you. You know, maybe I'll come over and visit you. You know, they're still, they're on the take also, if you know what I mean. They're looking for some money under the table, you know. And I'm not saying the whole country's like that. Every absolute person in the country is like that. But, you know, that's kind of human nature there. And But the family's involved. Um, how much does it cost to go to the Philippines? Well, your plane ticket will be, the way prices are today, fifteen to hundred to 3000 round trip. You know, you got to have a round trip. And uh, what does it cost to live in the country? You know, you're going to spend, I, I'd say, you need at least 50 bucks a day to survive. Um, if you're going to stay in a real rinky dink rundown hotel, uh, 20 bucks a day, maybe 25 for the hotel. But, um, and you know, there are those circumstances you can live with the family, but they're going to, they're going to drain you dry if they can. So 50 bucks a day, you're surviving. That's 1500 a month. That's my, that's my theory. Um, you need an extra three or 400 on top of that. You know, you want to be able to pay at least 35, 45 a day for the hotel plus your food and travel. So 16, 1800 a month you're doing good. 1500 a, uh, a month though, you can support a family. If you got a house, 
you can, hotels are expensive, you know. You can rent a house there for three hundred a month, a nice house or a nice place, you know. You just got to find one, but it, it, they're there. They are available. You can get a decent apartment in Manila for four hundred, and some of them have a little gym and a swimming pool. You got to look for it in in uh, Cebu also, in places like that. So, in that case, fifteen hundred is way more than enough. You know, I hope I've helped you, but you really got to realize the circumstances. Many guys, many men go to the Philippines and the girl doesn't show up. If, you, if you've if you been there and you know where the girl lives and you can go to the house, you can go to the bus terminal, get to the city, you can take a tricycle to her house or whatever, that's the transportation. And you can go up and knock on the door and she doesn't have a back door. <laughs> There might be an extra man in the house somewhere, you know, go there, keep your eye on the front door, see who produce what produces, you know, this is my cousin's friend and my cousin's coming back. That, and I've had him text people to come in during the conversation to confirm their, what they're saying to me about things, you know, um, do I trust anything I see in here? No, I do not. Do I know the scams? Yes. Have I been scammed? Yes, it, it, to a certain degree. But you got to, you know, you got to have a limit and say no. I'm not going to do that. You know, it's okay. A guy will meet a, a female online and she's just gorgeous. Some of those Filipinas are just gorgeous. Many of them look better in photo than they do in real life because they photoshop their their photo, but um you know, as far as meeting a Filipina and going to the Philippines and getting involved with the family, that's what they expect. They expect money. And that's what, you know, that's what the, they have been programmed to understand. You know, this American guy, this, you know, UK guy, this European guy, whatever, he's going to come and we're going to be rich. You know, they start to celebrate how much money they're going to get. And then everybody starts talking to them. Well, if he loves you, he'll give you an iPhone. If he loves you, he'll you know, he, he, he'll he take your family to his country. If he let, you know, so they all, their minds are just full of all of that before you even meet, meet them. I hope this video has helped you. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for asking me the questions. And uh, I hope I've answered everything in general. Uh, um, there's no absolutes. You need to go to the Philippines. You need to go to whatever country wherever that girl is, you need to get involved and you need to see what's real. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe.